Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I'm Penge and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, where today we're absolutely definitely going to go and have a big old fight with our Fatimid neighbours over here, and this time we really, really are. I genuinely mean it this time. We've been saying it for quite a long time now, so yes, today is the day when we go to war with the Fatimids, 100%, really, actually, we really properly will. But not right now, because we've got a few other bits and bobs that we need to deal with first. I mean, job number one, I think we've got some prisoners locked away in our prison, because we had a war last time, didn't we, over here, and we've picked up a few stragglers. So who have we got? Six people in the prison. Okay, that's more than I was expecting. Okay, so we've got Copti. Oh, you're a Shari. You're a Shari. Okay, we'll let you, I mean, you as well, we'll let you two out. Can we get some money from you? Can we ransom you out? Yes, 25 money from you, thank you very much. And you're a Shari, so we'll just let you out with a hook, possibly. Okay, so let's get time ticking on just to get those two out of the prison, just to clear it down a little bit. So there we go. And then we can see what everyone else is doing. Okay, right, you're an Adamite, and then you are Coptic, you're Coptic, and you're Coptic. Okay, so over here, we don't want to kind of do anything too mean to you because you're 11 years old. Could you please convert? Can we get a hook on you as well? That would be quite good. Okay, so that's one less Coptic. Can we do the same over here? You've apparently got claims. You're 22 years old and you have a claim on the Sheikdom of Makir. I don't know where that is. Hang on. Can you please renounce that claim? Yes, you can. Do you want to convert as well? Do you know what? You'll go for that. Do you know what? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, Right, you. Can you please put some clothes on? Can you just please put a hat on or maybe a nice jacket or something? A cloak. There's going to be loads of cloaks around here. Somebody give him a cloak. Okay, so can we get hook on you as well? Okay, so sort that out. And then you over here. What can we do with you? Can you please convert? You will not convert. Okay, you are, yes, you're zealous. So you're never going to convert. Um. Okay, you have got a marshal of 23. I mean, who are you? Do you work for the guy that we were fighting? Are you his marshal or something? Um, okay, can we please get a hook on you then? And then you can clear off out the prison as well. Okay, so there we go. Oh, a hybrid culture's been formed. Right, so clear the prison out. We've got a little bit of money. Sway getting personal. Okay, so we're swaying this chappy over here. So Islan Muhammad Ibn Sise of Bali. I think with the idea of making him like us so much that we can then vassalize him. Um, okay, so in our recent communication, Islan Mahamud of Bali expressed a want to focus on his ambitions and interests more. I could make sure that our coming letters contain more on a topic close to his heart. Okay, so what does he like? He is, oh, he's super, super brainy. He's very clever indeed. Um, okay, so he surely enjoys subterfuge and intrigue. I don't think so. He's got an intrigue of 16, but he's not kind of sneaky. He's an astute intellectual, it's not my place, or the ruling of a realm surely interests him. I mean, is that diplomacy? How would you kind of, how would you qualify the ruling of a realm in terms of a skill? I'm not entirely sure. We'll go for that one, because if it doesn't work, it's no great problem, is it? So we'll have a go at that. Um, okay, that's somebody going out the prison, that's somebody else clearing off. Right, so the prison should be nice and empty, that's good. Um, oh, hang on a minute, right, what's going on here? Um, okay, hang on. Valley Samira was a forest, brought forward evidence that Jalil is not the son of that person there, who I'm not entirely sure who they are, but fathered by somebody else instead. Okay, so they, they thought that the father of that kid there was this 60-year-old chappy there, but instead it's that 18-year-old chappy there. Uh, okay? I mean, that person's in prison anyway. Do you know what? I am lost for words. I'm not really sure who all of you people are. So you just go and sort that out yourselves, please. Thank you so much. Um, and okay, yes, that worked. He liked the fact that we did kind of want to chat with him about ruling a realm. Okay, in his response, Islam Mahomud of Bali encouraged my slight dip into more personal topics. What a treat that he is also interested in stewardship. Oh, okay, I wouldn't have thought that, but okay, apparently he loves a bit of stewardship. Um, okay, let us speak more. So he gains 10 opinion of us, up to 23. Yeah, so he's down here. Would you like to join us now? He's on minus seven. Now, somebody in the comments did make a very, very good point. So when we tried to get somebody else on board, I can't quite recall who it was. Was it somebody over there, possibly? Um, we gave them an artifact. So we said, do you know what? Have an artifact. And they went, oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I think we got plus 20 opinion. And then we were able to vassalize them. But somebody in the comments did point out that we could 
deploy our wife to do a bit of work on this. So hang on, how good are you at diplomacy? 14. So at the moment, we've got uh, we've got our our spouse on assist ruler. So you get just a generic kind of boost to all sorts of things. So diplomacy plus two, martial plus one, stewardship, intrigue and learning up by two. But if we then just go to straight to court politics, that's plus seven diplomacy. So now, does that mean that you want to join us? Not quite. Only to minus six now. What about everybody else? What about you? Do you like us enough? Oh no, you're at war and you hate us anyway. And over here, you are Coptic, so you're going to say no. That's a bit of a shame. Is there anybody else? What about over here? Hang on. Yeah, a few people in the comments did mention this little kind of island over here. Would you like to join? Yes, she would like to join. Ah, okay. I can't remember if we looked at this before or not. I can't quite recall. Um, so she is a feudal realm. So we've got to sort out a kind of a feudal contract with her. Um, so normal feudal obligations. She says, no, thank you very much. What about low? Low, she's not interested either because she doesn't like us very much. Okay, we can work on that. Okay, so maybe not her quite yet, but we'll get there in time. Um, I don't think the Mongol Empire would be interested in joining us. How about you? No, not you either. And a few people did say, can we do anything with the little place down here? Because we picked up a teeny tiny county over there. Can we say go over here and say, hello, Nana Manifa of Owu. Uh, would you like to join us? But no, we can't even attempt to get them on board. Maybe because that's not under our direct control or something. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, never mind. Never mind, that's all fine. So we try to sway that person. We'll keep working on it. Eventually, I think they'll join us. And then we'll try and get you on board as well. Do a bit of fighting to get you these bits of land over here and get you out of the way with your big pointy crown. And then, yeah, we'll try and work on you as well. Get that under our control. That would be quite handy. Um, okay, right, wonderful stuff. I think now as well we can have a perk and we can get the writing history perk, which means we can take the commission epic decision. I like this. This is one of my favourite things in the game. So uh, do you know what? There's no time like the present. Oh, hang on a minute. There is a time like the present. Hang on a second. We've got an event called Overstaying Their Welcome. My court has become renowned for the more luxurious level of hospitality on offer, and guests here often prove useful. On occasion, however, we do get redundant guests at court, whose purpose is unclear, and whose presence is an unnecessary drain on my treasury. One such hanger-on is Ilke, who's been here for some time as a guest of Kagan Shirigitu. Okay, so... Oh, from the Mongol Empire. Oh, okay, so Ilke is... Ah, uh, yes... You are from that part of the world, judging by how you dress. And yeah, that is like a sort of a... Is that part of the Mongol Empire house? Oh, no, it's not. It's got the same background colour of blue. Um, okay, so she's been here for some time as a guest of Kaga and Shi Shirugugitu and seems to eat enough for 12. That's a bit mean. The woman is eating out of house and home and something must be done. Okay, so we can say, let her stay. Surely they've got to come in useful at some point, right? We get an extravagant host for five years. So monthly income comes down by 1%. Crikey's. Prestige goes up. Court grandeur bonus goes up by two. But we're going to lose 1% of all of our money. I mean, I know that's not the end of the world. But yeah, that's that's quite a lot of money we'd be spending. Um, and they like us a bit more. And they stay at our court. I mean, what do you bring? Oh, you bring very little. Let's be completely honest. What religion is that? Terumism. I've never heard of that. An unreformed Siberian faith. Crikey. Siberians believe in a horizontal world where men and beasts all live in clans linked together through alliance or vengeance. Hunting is a core part of the equilibrium between taking and giving life, and with death all souls travel downstream to reincarnate in the clan they lived in previously. Good grief. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. But yeah, you don't do much. You're shy, you're lazy, and you're greedy. I kind of feel like we wouldn't want you here. Um, so yeah, we can let us stay. Or we can say, parasitic wretch, get back from whence you came. Okay, so we're going to lose a big pile of stress because we're arbitrary. We don't really care what she thinks. However, we do pick up inhospitable host for five years. Caught grandeur bonus down by two. I think we can cope with that. That's okay. She gets a bit grumpy. He's going to get a bit grumpy with us as well. Although... He does like us quite a lot, fortunately. So that's quite good. Um, I think we make her go away. 
I think we'd make her go away. We wouldn't really want her hanging around. So do you know what? Clear off you, even though you are wearing a very good hat. I like the tea cosy hats, but no, please, please go away. You can leave, please. Get out of the court. Thank you. And now we can go and commission an epic. This is, I love these. These are brilliant. Okay, so commission an epic. We gain 150 prestige. That's neither here nor there. The good thing is we get the artifact and we get all of the kind of fun event pop-up things as well. So here we go. Oh, okay. No, not here we go. Hang on a minute. Where is it? Commission an epic. Um, Yes, 300 money to get this done. We have got quite a lot of money in the bank right now. What I need is a classical tale of the grandeur of my family, a chronicle about the origins of the lovely people dynasty and how we are destined for greatness. I only need to I need someone who knows how to tell a story. Have we had one of these before? I can't quite recall if we've commissioned an epic before. I think we might have quite some time ago, but it's been a while. Okay, so we could get Abdullah, the accomplished storyteller. That's going to be an exceptional epic, there's a high chance, but it will cost us 600 money. We get our scribes. It, oh, there's an unpredictable chance of it being an exceptional epic. We lose 300 money. We get any old bod to do it at all. Hassan the servant does it. It might be a bit rubbish. Or we just kind of completely bail out. Do you know what? We've got 684 money. We're picking up 57.6 money every single month. If we're going to do it, let's do it properly. You're not going to be around forever, are you, Faddle the Second? So why don't we get this done properly? So yes, please, we'll spend a huge big pile of money on it. I did kind of have a few plans to you know, use that money on something else. But never mind. Just don't ask for any more money because now we haven't got much. My family epic seems to be progressing well and some lines already sound like they will be quoted for decades to come. Oh, very good. But Abdullah has a lot of questions about the focus of the story. It would be easier to answer if he wrote it all first. Then I could tell him what I dislike about it, but he insists he needs answers now. Okay, so he should focus on me and my destiny, of course. We get more personal prestige, but that's not really what you'd be about, I don't think. You're not that bothered, I suppose. It's a family history, so be generous. I'll gain more renown when the epic is done, or tell it as truthfully as possible. We gain some piety. I mean, I don't think we go for piety. I don't think we're so bothered about that. Would we go for it focusing on him? Because he's arbitrary, or it's a family history? Because he's arbitrary, but he also appreciates that he is part of a huge, very successful dynasty. I think maybe we'd go for that. We'd get more renown. I mean, that's as well. That is the, the better of the options, I would say. Because, um, yeah, you can't take the prestige and the piety with you, but the renown is linked to the dynasty. So, do you know what? Yeah, it's a family history, so be generous. We're doing it for the dynasty, not for ourselves, because we know we're not going to be around forever. Our health is poor, it's not looking great. So, yeah, we'll do that. Ah, hang on a minute. Oh, that's Prince Owl. I thought that was a swaying that chappy. What have we got there? Commission an artifact. We can call a hunt. Um, Amir Khalil, who we gave an emirate title to last time, he showed up to do a bit of homage. It all goes well, he doesn't fall over or whatever. We gain grandeur, we get some money, we get all the lovely stuff. Thank you very much, Amir Khalil, for popping by. Right, okay, we've swayed that chappy. Will you now join? Yes, you will. Okay, plus three, perfect. Okay, so this place is going to join us without having to do the stabby, stabby, killy, killy. And it's fine because he's a shari. So there we go. Another place joins. This is going very well. Look at that. We've got that. So now we need to go to Gidea. And, um, oh, hang on. Are you still, you're still having a fight. You're still fighting. So I think possibly, maybe we'll start swaying you instead. Let's start swaying you. So yes, we'll abandon the scheme on the other person. Let's sway you for now. That's quite good. And um, yeah, we'll see how we get on with that. And now we just need to kind of let time tick on and see what happens with our wonderful epic. Okay, family epic and inconvenience. With Abdullah no longer at my court, it is difficult for him to continue his work on my family epic. Thankfully, my scribes will be ready to pick up the slack. What happened to you? Where have you gone? You've wandered off. Hang on, we paid you a massive pile of money to write us a wonderful book and you've just kind of wandered off and you're visiting somebody else's court. Why did you go there? Unless you've been summoned there for whatever reason. Is he a relative of yours and he's kind of called you back to his court to do something? Oh, that's a bit of a shame. We spent 600 lovely money on you. Um, okay, the work continues. That's not very good, is it? But there we go. Um, and here we go. Marmalade 
has given birth to a son. Okay, let's have a little look. <gasps> oh my goodness me. You're robust, you're intelligent, and you're going to be comely when you grow up. This is wonderful stuff. Okay, okay, this is very good indeed. So hang on a minute. So that is our granddaughter. So we've got a great grandson. Oh, that's wonderful. Hang on. So where is, where's Marmalade? So Marmalade is Joyful, one of Joyful's kids. So Joyful, hang on. So Joyful is our eldest. Okay, so that's good. And then there's Marmalade there. And then there is that child there, Ibrahim Ibn Marmalade, which is wonderful. However, we're not going to call you Ibrahim. I think I know what we're going to call you. It got suggested quite a few times in the comments. So, okay, yeah, I've got the perfect name. We're going to call you Bunting because Bunting is very lovely indeed. I do like a nice bit of Bunting around the place. So there we go. We shall call you Bunting. May you grow to be strong and wise, Bunting. I like that. I like the fact that we have somebody called Bunting. I like that. It's very good. Right, okay. Get time ticking on a little bit. Let's just see if we can continue our uh, epic tale there. Ah, hang on a minute. Yes, I kind of forgot about that. We did uncover, in terms of innovations, rightful ownership. We've now got that uncovered. So the only kind of civic one left is uh, Renaissance thought. But I'm not so bothered about that. So maybe we'd go for something a little bit fighty. I mean, right now we've got, what, standing armies is what we're fascinated by. What does that do? Size of men at arms regiments plus five. Maximum number of men at arms regiments plus one. That's quite good. Plate armor though. We have got, have we got any heavy cavalry actually? We've got heavy infantry because the um, Mubarazun are heavy infantry. I don't think we have any heavy cavalry or we could get all the late medieval era military buildings or we could get all the fortification buildings. I think we stick with standing armies. That's probably the best one for us right now. Yeah, okay, we'll stick with that. That's very good. Right, okay, come on, do some epic stuff. Please, scribes, write something wonderful for us. The previous chapter kind of bailed on us, so let's hope you can do some good stuff. My Chancellor, Emir Chocolate, is reading my family epic as it's slowly coming together. A lot of it is not very plausible, such as the part with the River of Silver, he tells me. On the other hand, who is to say what the past was like? If you're already doing embellishments, why not take it as far as we can? Okay, so what do we do? It's important we tell a good story after all. So we gain 150 prestige and we pick up 75 renown. Or no, it should be true to life as possible. We gain 300 learning lifestyle experience. And on completion, we receive a family epic book artifact, which improves personal scheme success chance. I mean, what would... What would you do? What would you do? Given your arbitrary, you do your own thing and you have little regard for the opinion of others. Maybe we would just kind of go, do you know what? No, make it real. But then we've, you know, we've asked somebody to tell a tale. We've not asked somebody to write a documentary or whatever, or you know, like a, a factual account. It's a dramatic, epic story. It's a family epic, not a family daily diary. I want it to be a little bit dramatic. So maybe we do go for that. It's important we tell a good story. We want to make our dynasty look wonderful. Not just us, but our whole dynasty. Everything about the lovely people. People around the world need to look and go, yeah, I like them. Look at that. They had a river of silver. Why can't we have one of those? So do you know what? Let's go for that. We pick up a bit of renown and we get some uh, prestige as well, which is neither here nor there because we've got 11,659 of it, which is quite good. But there we go. We did get some renown, which is quite hard to come by. Oh, this isn't very good. My cousin is plotting to kill my wife. Okay, please don't kill my wife. That will be very bad. The abhorrent fiend. Yeah, it's not very kind, is it? Please stop doing that. No murdery murderies. Thank you very much. Word has reached me that a Mershid, renowned for his illuminations, is staying in a town in Asafra. With my family epic progressing, this might be the ideal time to think about what the pages should look like once all is said and done. Okay, so we've kind of got the story sorted out. Now we want the pages to look exciting with pictures. Okay, yep, I'm all for that. Hire the Illuminator, whatever the cost. Hopefully they won't clear off midway through the job. So 300 money, we've got 533 because fortunately we do earn quite a lot of money. My scribes can do it themselves. It's a 50-50 chance as to whether we're going to get an exceptional epic or we could have a go, and there's an 84% chance of it becoming an exceptional epic, because apparently we're quite good at drawing. Um, okay, 
I mean, do you know what? That would save us 300 money. And there's an 84% chance. I think it's worth the chance, isn't it? Come on, Faddle the second. Do some drawing. Get some you know, art supplies out. Get some, I know, charcoal and pastels and watercolours and give it a go. Um, here we go. 84%. Please. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Faddle. Faddle. You did some bad drawing there. You didn't use the proper things. You didn't draw any happy little trees, Faddle. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. There we go. Family epic. Writer's retreat. Some of my scribes have been caught trying to sneak off from their duties to my family epic. Thankfully, a guard recognised them as they passed the gates. It's exhausting work, they explained. Day and night, my lord. We are desperate for a few days' rest. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We lose 300 money, but then we can try and recover some of the chance of it becoming an, e an exceptional epic. Um, because, yeah, we just kind of lowered that chance a bit with our scribbly drawings. Okay, so we can either... Yeah, chain them to their work table, but we wouldn't do that because we're compassionate. Do you know what? Yeah, have a break. It costs 300 money. These are expensive. I'd completely forgotten how utterly extortionate the epics are, but there we go. It's got to be nearly done. My scribes have completed my family epic, and what a glorious chronicle they have composed. It has high drama, moral quandaries, and tense jewels. Everything my family has been forged from is in there. Even the part with the River of Silver, seemingly so far-fetched, has become a touching moment outlining the destiny of my house. Okay, that's very exciting. So, we now pick up the lovely people like Chronicon. We get 75 prestige, we get 75 renown, but we also get a lovely book which is plus 10, plus, not even plus 10, plus 0.1 prestige per month. That is woefully, woefully inadequate for the money and time and effort we put into that. 0.1 prestige per month. We've got other things in there that do that and loads of other bits and bobs as well. That's rubbish. Oh dear. Okay. I mean, maybe it was our slightly scribbly rubbish artwork that didn't really help there, but okay. Never mind, never mind. This might be the greatest chronicle ever written. It, it isn't. It's not. It's not an exceptional thing. It's a famed book, but it's not exceptional. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Um, Yeah, where is it? Where is it in this list? It's got to be around somewhere. Where is it? Oh, I've lost where it is. Um, Hang on a minute. I'm not so bothered. Um, Oh, it's a court book. Oh, it goes in court. Oh, okay. I don't think we have anywhere for it to go. And again, I think everything else is way better. Everything else is so much better. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not so fussed about that. I am not bothered about that at all. How are all our court things looking, by the way? Is anything falling apart? The fingernails of St. Margaret are falling apart. Oh no, can we spend some money on repairing the also important fingernails of St. Margaret? Um, 38 money. There we go. Just, you know, give those fingernails a little bit of a polish and just sort of get spruce them up a little bit for 38 money. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's very silly. Um, okay, everything else is looking okay. That was a bit disappointing. Maybe at some point in the future, if we're still around, if Faddle II is still alive, when we can do that again, we should give it another go because that was ultimately unrewarding, wasn't it? It was a book that we're never going to use. This is going to kind of be put on a shelf in the back room somewhere. Nobody will look at it ever again. It's a little bit naff, isn't it? So there we go. Maybe at some point in the future, we can try again. Sharbano has given birth to a daughter. Okay, right. Remind me who you are. So you are our grandson through Joyful. Okay, so another one of Joyful's kids has had a child. So yeah, that's another great grandchild of ours. Oh, this is very, very good. Well done, Faddle the Second, for living so long that you can see great grandchildren. That's very impressive. Um, okay, right, so how are you? You're going to be beautiful and you are intelligent. Okay, this is all good news. However, what shall we call you? I mean, Shola is a lovely name. That's a very nice name indeed, but no, we can change that round to something else, I think. I think we'll call you Petal. That's quite lovely sounding, isn't it? And it did get suggested quite a few times when I put the plea out for names for our lovely people here. So let's call you Petal. I quite like that. And of course, you can't have a flower which is lovely without Petal. So there we go. We shall call you Petal. There you go. Welcome to the world, Petal. May you grow to be strong and wise. Okay, very handily, we've just picked up 290 money from additional taxes. Thank you, Steward. And we're going to use 200 of that money to get ourselves a new Emirate title down here because we can now create the Emirate of Bali. I know it says the Duchy of Bali over there, but when we create it, it will become an Emirate. So here we go. Let's go and do that, please. 
boom, that's now sorted. And who shall we give that to? I mean, who's got that there? So Sheikh Khalil has got the actual sort of capital of that emirate. So you might as well have the actual emirate title itself as well, if I can figure out where it is. There you go. The Emirate of Bali. So those two are yours. That's not under your control. So maybe you could have a fight to get that. I don't know. I'm not so bothered. But there you go. You can now go and have yourself a lovely new title. And you become an Emir. You get, I was going to say you get kind of your fancy new robes or whatever. But they're quite posh looking anyway. So there you go. Enjoy your new title. That's very exciting. And hang on. An independence faction has disbanded. Ah, was he part of an independence faction? Have we got any other factions now? We've got a couple of peasanty rabbles, and then we have got a liberty faction. And in there is Sheikh Karadin and Sheikh Shamir. Okay, do you know what? Not so bothered. Not so bothered about those two. That's okay. I think we can deal with that. They don't have much in the way of power. Look at that. Yeah, military power of 2%. I don't think they're going to be a problem for a good long time. Oh, I've just noticed something over here. Emir Ashola, who we're trying to sway on that little island right out over there in the sea. We're trying to sway her so we could then go, hey, would you like to join us? And she's got this whole feudal contract that we have to sort out. But I've noticed that she's Coptic and we don't really want to have a Coptic in our land. So I think maybe rather than trying to sway her, we should just go and take that land from her. Can we go and have a war with you? To take that away. I mean, yeah, we can seize all de Jure lands because that's part of one of the kingdoms we've got. I'm not quite sure which one it is. That kingdom up there, possibly. Hang on. Hang on. Where does that live? Go to kingdom titles. Yeah, it's part of the kingdom of Yemen or the Sultanate of Yemen. So I think, yes, rather than trying to sway her over and then vassalize her and then realize that we have a Coptic ruler, when we've spent quite a lot of time and effort on getting rid of Coptics from our lands, maybe we should just go and have a fight and take that land off her. I don't think it's going to be that difficult. So I'm really sorry. We're going to stop swaying you. That was a bit of a waste of effort, wasn't it? Never mind. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go and have a fight with you. Hello, Amira Shola. How are you? Can we please have our land back? Thank you so much. 56 prestige it's going to cost. Um, yeah, we've got enough money to have a war, haven't we? Do you know what? Yes, it's going to be very very quick indeed right hang on where is the raising flag there it is we can pop the flag over there raise all the men at arms and of course when we get to sieging we've got the big shooty guns now so it's going to be absolutely fine so um a few people are joining the fight but even then it's not really going to help is it that's that's what 4865 soldiers and that's going to be a mix of levies and men at arms we've got 5000 men at arms so I think we've kind of got this in the bag, but okay, let's, um, do you know, we'll go over there first and we'll try and sort of just wait on here for a bit. So we lose the disembarkation. You just got off a boat and everything's all over the place penalty. And then when that's all sorted, we'll then nip next door and do some fighting. But yeah, there's not that many of them, actually. There's not many of them. But yeah, let's just let that disembarkation penalty tick down. I mean, really, for that, <gasps> we've died in the in the middle of a fight. Oh no, it was going to be glorious and brilliant and Sultan Faddle has passed away. Oh, right. I am, I'm most surprised. I didn't think that was on the cards. Died a leper. So the leprosy got the better of him in the end. Okay. Okay. I think, you know, a few of the characters, we've known that they will. I mean, you know, certainly previous characters. If we go and have a look at the lineage. I mean, yeah, Sunrise, we knew when he was going to die. He had the kind of heads up, didn't he? And then, um, was it Cake also had the heads up? Faddle, I think, was you know, particularly old and not very well. But um, yeah, there we go. That was unexpected. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Faddle II has died. He only ruled for 15 years. That is our quickest reign, is it? Um, yes. So Amir Burner was 19 years. And then, yeah, Sultan Faddle was 15 years. Died at 65 very suddenly, I think. I don't think that was, you know, that was nowhere, that wasn't expected at all. I didn't think that was going to happen. We lost no titles, which is very good. There you go, Sultan Fadl II of Delax has abandoned this transient world and flown to heaven at 65 years of age. He died a leper. His putrescent body has finally succumbed to the scourge of leprosy. That's not very nice. Send him off nicely, please. Sultan lovely ascends to the throne, a generous man. Many hope that his good heart will not lead him to empty the realm's coffers on futile causes. Okay, 
So we now play as, Lo as, as Sultan Lovely, which is a brilliant name for somebody in charge of the lovely people. He does seem to be wearing a very good hat as well, which is quite good. But um, yeah, okay, there we go. Sultan Faddle has very sadly departed this world. And so we must say our final farewells to Sultan Faddle II. And we didn't really get that much time with him, did we? We joined him fairly late on in life and he died relatively young, which is all a bit sad. He did have a troubled life though, did Faddle II, a life which was blighted by leprosy, which caused him all sorts of issues all through his life. Once a handsome man, over time the leprosy led to him losing a leg, becoming scarred, and then them becoming disfigured but he didn't let it define him he tried his best to rise above it and do the very best he could for the realm he did have a tricky start to his reign as well did faddle with a good number of vassals just not liking him at all so he had to put the work in to sway them round a bit and i think with perhaps a few exceptions he did pretty well the factions that once looked very powerful indeed vanished away and at the time of his death he was quite popular i think despite his numerous afflictions he wasn't afraid of a fight either and whilst it wasn't his his main expertise he was pretty keen on a nice bit of fighting he did his best to oust the heathens from nearby lands getting rid of quite a few coptic and those pesky nude adamite rulers and of course his diplomacy skill also led to quite a few rulers joining without the need for bloodshed and fighting and stabbing with pointy sticks which is always a plus he was widely regarded as a very clever man and it's worth pointing out i think that he was responsible for the discovery of quite a lot of the late game innovations i think what maybe three or four of the late game innovations came through Sultan Fadl II and also he followed in his father's footsteps by upgrading various buildings around the place. However, it wasn't all good news as there was the unfortunate incident with the shoe, we'll mention no more of that, and his arbitrary nature did perhaps mean he was a tad selfish compared to some of our previous rulers but overall I think he did an absolutely grand job given the circumstances. So even though he held the shortest reign of the lovely people so far, he was a fascinating character to play as. He was really interesting. And I think due to his stubborn refusal to give up, despite his obvious physical limitations, we should remember him as Faddle the Determined. So goodbye, Faddle the Determined. Rest in peace. You've definitely earned it. And now we continue as lovely. Okay, so this war over here is just going to have to go on pause for a bit while we go and do all the new character admin stuff. So hold on a second, fighty folks over here. We haven't forgotten your doing stuff. We'll just come back in a second. We've got to go and do some red hot admin action so here we go job number one let's go and look at sultan lovely there he is okay so remind me he's generous okay so we're gonna have a little bit less money to play with because he's gonna give 10 percent of it away good grief he is ambitious which gives plus one to everything and he's gregarious which gets his diplomacy up so he's currently got a diplomacy of 36 that's pretty good only a marshal of eight however that's not helped by his blindness. Minus six to that. He'd be pretty good at that if it wasn't for the blindness. Stewardship is 16. That's pretty good. Intrigue is on 10. That's kind of average. And then learning is 18. That's pretty good. Prowess is seven. Of course, there's a massive, massive modifier for that. Minus 10 because of his blindness. He'd actually be pretty good if we didn't have that blindness. He'd be a pretty handy fighter. And then what have we got? So charismatic negotiator. So a three-star education trait. He's a novice physician, which is quite good. He's august. Okay, so he's gone down that route. Okay, so he's trying to get his marshal back up a little bit. He's improvident. Oh, oh my goodness me. Oh dear, right. So he's picked up a negative trait. So he's going to give even more money away to charity. So he's generous. So we've got minus 10% monthly income. And then he's improvident. So another minus 15%. So we're going to be down minus 25% on our monthly income. Okay, right, so we're not going to be able to spend quite as much money. Um, of course, he's got these three things. This is very exciting. He's got hail, he's got genius, he's got comely. However, yes, he is blind through an accident or since birth. Lovely can see nothing. I mean, yeah, it was an accident. We don't know what happened. We don't know when you became blind. But yes, you weren't born blind. Marshall down by six. Stewardship down by two. Intrigue down by two. Prowess down by ten. Minor health penalty. A dread hit. Not really so bothered. Attraction opinion down not great okay so how are we looking health is fine that's very good okay so that's looking pretty good that's looking good and um, why have we got why do we have a weird why is the lovely people sultanate banner not right why isn't it the nice banner what's going on there why is it looking weird maybe it's because we're not the dynasty head at the minute 
the game goes a bit wibbly when you start as a new character. It doesn't kind of always give you the dynasty head title. Um, okay, right. So that's good. Let's go and check factions very quickly. So is anything happening here? We've got... Oh, no, these are all a bit out of kilter as well, aren't they? That's not going to help too much. What about secrets? Okay, so nothing. So we're not, you know, we're not in love with shoes or whatever. That's quite good. Um, and... Okay, yes, our dad has a hook on us. Hang on, we need to move time on one day, I think. So go from the 10th to the 11th of July. There we go. Just to let the game kind of recalculate things. Yeah, so nothing going on here. In fact, there's hardly anything going on in Intrigue at all. There is nothing going on in the world of Intrigue. Okay, that's a good thing. I suppose that's quite good. Right, let's go and pick the council, shall we? So over there, we've got a 16-year-old court priesty person. How about no? How about we get one of our powerful vassals in to do that, please? A mere chocolate is very good at that. Plus 19 opinion of us, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. And he wants a seat on the council. So currently, yeah, there's a minus 40 penalty. If we make you our religious -y person, you're going to really like us. Okay, so hang on. 11.1 .1 right now and 45,000 vassals. Uh, not vassals. That'd be a lot of vassals. 45,000 soldiers. Okay, so get you on board. So yes, please. Eleven point two. Okay. So giving us you know, a little bit more, a little bit more opinion means we get more money and vassals. Uh, not vacuum saying vassals. Soldiers is what I mean. Right, Chancellor. Um, okay. Oh, however, Owl is very good at being a steward. Owl, you can come in and be a steward. So hopefully, if we give you this, you're going to like us a bit. So up to plus four. That's quite encouraging. Fourteen point three money. That's very good. Chancellor. Right. Hang on. Spy master. Who have we got that's good at doing spying? Right. Um, ah, however, Amir Sami can be our marshal because you've got 29. So that's quite good. Chancellor. Oh, we're going to have to have somebody who's not an overly good chancellor. And then somebody's going to have to be a bit grumpy with us. So I think let's get Amir Mohammed Ibn Skone as our chancellor. So diplomacy 19. Not the best. Probably got some better people. But we'll get you in because we need to get you on our side. And then Spymaster, one person left, the one powerful vassal left, has only got an intrigue of 12. That's a bit rubbish. Who's got the most? Okay, so vassal and Faris, our vassal, vassal, uncle. I mean, we should really go with, oh, hang on, about you, Spring. Spring really, oh, no, uh, not Spring, uh, Amir Alim really likes us. He's got an intrigue of 25, but... This chappy here does like us quite a bit. And I think if we do put him on the council, he'll like us a bit more. So plus 47, he's got an intrigue of 31, which is pretty good. And now, yeah, plus 57 opinion. Okay, so that's the council sorted out for now. Remind me what you're like as well. Um, you're pretty good at stewardship. That's quite good. Okay, so our wife's a pretty good steward. Very good to know. Okay, lifestyle, here we go. You've gone down diplomacy, which is good. Oh, and we've got true ruler. We've got all of those. Okay, that's... Oh, we've got... We can do some more epics. Hooray! Life of Glory, Dignitas, August. Okay, so I think... Um, hang on, yeah. So because that's our diplomacy education, we're going to pick up more experience here. Do we want to carry on down here? We've got nine... Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the exact amount of perks we've got. We've not got any kind of, you know, unspent or whatever. So do we go down this route or... Do we go down stewardship to try and maybe offset the lack of money we're going to have? I'm thinking possibly we try and do that. What's going to give us a bit more money? Avaricious. What does that give us? Holding taxes up by 15% and stewardship up by 2%. I'm just a bit concerned that we're not going to have enough money with you because you, uh, you like giving it away. So possibly, I mean, if we go for that, we go for wealth focus... And then, yeah, have monthly income plus 10%. That's going to offset some of the damage. So we'll be down by 15% income. Maybe we go for that. Or do we get stewardship plus three? Hang on, how many holdings can we have? Ten. And we've got seven. Okay, that's not so bad. That's okay. Don't want to go down intrigue. Don't want to go down learning, I don't think. I mean, yeah, really, it's either diplomacy. What does diplomat give us at the end there? Diplomacy plus three, personal scheme, power, patriarch. Not so bothered about that at all. That's to do with like family stuff. Anything over here, forgers. I think that's the best sort of perk tree in diplomacy. Let's go to stewardship. 
Let's get ourselves domain. I mean, yeah, do we go for wealth focus or domain focus stewardship plus three? I don't know which gives us more money. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which kind of gives us the most cash because stewardship plus three does give us some more money. But I'm not quite sure how that kind of equates. I don't know what the calculations are in the background. Um, or duty. Um, I mean, hang on. If you're you're generous, ambitious and gregarious, uh, we can pick any of these. The people on the land are under my care. Uh, people on the land under my care are my strength. Or do we go for that? Maybe we go for wealth focus so we can make more money, so we can give more away. Hooray, because you know, we like giving money away. We're really good at that. Um, yeah, let's go for wealth focus. So we'll pick that, please. And then we need to go to here and we need to kit ourselves out with things that give us the stewardship experience. So I'm going to clear everything out for now. Right, let's go through here. So crowns, what's going to be best for us to wear? So we've got Emir Cake's crown. We can have four more vassals. I think we're okay. I don't think we're over our vassal limit. Uh, Faddle's crown, okay, which does have hello lovely people on it. So buildings are cheaper. Powerful vassal opinion plus eight. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Monthly tunic comes down. A massive pile of prestige. Or men at arms maintenance. Let's wear Sultan Faddle's crown. Let's put Dad's crown on, shall we? The weapon, we've only got one. We'll have the spear. We might possibly need to fix that up at some point. But there we go. We'll have that. Thank you. Um, armor, haven't got any. Very sad. Regalia, the lovely people. Regalia, that's good. And then trinkets. We've got quite a lot of these. So I think, hang on a second, stewardship lifestyle experience plus 5%. We'll take that because that gives us stewardship lifestyle. That's what we're going for. Um, anything else? So what else, Dan? It's the book about books. That's learning. Bedouin Corn we've got. That's learning lifestyle. Do you know what? Learning plus one anyway from the Marble Scepter of Jira is not so bad. So we'll take one of those anyway because more learning is good. That, that, the old signet ring, stewardship lifestyle experience up by another 5%. So now that's up by 10%, which is good. And then we've got a book, The Lovely People Romance. It's got to be that vassal opinion up by eight. And we're a new ruler. We're going to have that horrible sort of short reign negative modifier thing. So if we can make our vassals like us plus eight more, that's got to be a good thing. So we'll take that for now. There are, look at that. That's good. That's another stewardship thing, but we can't. I mean, do we? No, no, it's okay. We want to get the learning as well. The learning is useful. Although, is it as useful as another 5% stewardship lifestyle experience? That would be plus 15%. Do you know what? We're going to go for that. Dalaxian law and ordinance it is. Hooray! For, oh, hang on. I'm not, have I equipped it? Oh, hang on. The lovely people romance then. Oh, okay. I think that I swapped them round. I don't quite know what happened there. But okay, I've done a thing and it went a bit wibbly. But we're all sorted now. Okay. So that's all that done. Uh, okay, what have we got up here? What's our stress like? Oh, it's very stressy. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Um, protecting against factions. I think we've got a big pile of money. We've got a big pile of cash. We'd like to get people to like us a bit more because right now people are sort of okay with us, actually. It's not as bad as it was when we took over as Faddle the Second, but let's do what we always do when we start as a new character. Let's go and throw a big party. I don't like why that's changed don't like why that's changed. I like our proper logo. Why has it changed to this weird one? Um, let's go and throw a big party. Let's go and yeah, host an exotic feast. It's go We're going to lose 126 stress because we're gregarious and generous. It's going to cost 140 money. That's absolutely fine. Here we go. Let's see if everyone can't behave at this party. No fighting. No destroying artifacts, no doing things with oxen, no doing things with shoes. Can we just stop all that, please? Um, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. Guests are arriving. Who are these people? Uh, oh, okay. Loads of people are at Jolly's arrived. These are all people that we've named Jolly. Oh, hang on. Have we got two Jollies? We might have two Jollies. Dawn has arrived. Hang on. Who are these people? They're just all turning up. Sunrise has turned up. Uh, oh, okay. Have you not got land? Sunrise, why have you not got land? I thought... Well, do we, okay, right. We'll sort that in a bit. But right, so people have turned up. That's good. That's a bit weird. These people make a good wife for us. Your cousin! No game. <laughs> We're not going down that road. Um, butterfly and... Oh, what's been going on here? Hang on, hang on. What children do we have? 
Rainbow is eight. Sorcerer is five. Teacup is five. Um, however, yeah, we've got Gravy, who's our nephew, is apparently lined up to marry Butterfly, our cousin. I mean, I assume we've arranged that at some point. Um, okay, hang on. Who are you? You're our nephew. You're our nephew through Gift. Oh, yeah, Gift, who was killed by that horrible man, and we accidentally let him go. Okay, that's that's a bit weird. So we want to marry him to her. So she is... Our, do you know what? It's, it's probably fine. It's none of our children. It's none of our kids. So do you know what? It, okay. <laughs> you just go and do that, please. And we'll just pretend we weren't there. Um, okay, and a faction's got... Oh, dear. Okay, there's some populace getting a bit strong. But okay, you know. Right. Let's get time ticking on. So, hello, lovely. How are you? This is very exciting that we're playing as you. Uh, can we have a big old feast? That would be wonderful. Here we go. The mood is bright. Spirits are high. As the feast begins, welcome, friends. Right, there we go. We're back as the new head of the dynasty. I don't quite know what happened there. Prince Party wants to get on the Azurani throne. Oh, no. Wants to install kindness on the throne against us. Okay, we'll have to try and sort that out. Okay. The great table seat in the upper nobility on the dice gave a loud crack, and a moment later it gave in under the weight of food and gilded decoration. As my most distinguished guest and I had to be fitted in among the lower nobility, I ended up close to my wife, Sultana Habiba. A mere present took it poorly, however, and told everyone it was a grave injustice to be seated with lords and ladies barely better than commoners. Acting quite the opposite, Sheikh Omer displayed grace and humility among his lessers. Habiba and I ended up talking all evening and agreed it should not be the last time we feasted and laughed in each other's company. Okay, so we had a nice, sort of lovely time with our wife. That's very nice. She became our friend. Maybe she should become our soulmate at some point. I quite like those as well. That's always fun. However, let's not have too many events going at the same time. Um, oh, there we go. As my guests leave, they seem to depart in good spirits. I'm also relieved to see that Sultana Habiba does not depart without saying farewell. We both know we'll be seeing each other again soon. I mean, we are married. I'd like to think we'd see each other possibly you know, later that day. But okay. What a woman. Okay, so every guest gains 20 opinion of us. So we should see that ticking up because we're a clan government and the more our vassals like us, the more money and levies and troops they give us. So that should go up. It's a 38.3 up to 41.2. Not too shabby at all. Oh, hang on a second. It might be worth moving around some of our court artifacts. So over here on that lovely kind of pedestal type thing, we've got the Ethiopian Organon which gives us 0.1 prestige per month and a plus 10 boost to learning lifestyle. However, we've got Rat My Darling. We could display that. Oh, it is displayed. We're already displaying Rat My Darling. So that's quite good. So that helps us bring our stress down a bit. So when we get stressed out, we get stressed out 4% less, which is never a bad thing. And then down here, we have the fine veins of trade. And look at that prestige up by 0.1 per month. However, monthly stewardship lifestyle experience up by 20%. That is a huge amount to go with what we've already got from the artifacts on our person. That's going to give us, what, plus 35%, is it? Or we could have the lovely People Chronicon, the most disappointing book of them all, to just get 0.10 prestige per month. Let's have that one. Let's get a huge big boost to stewardship lifestyle experience. There we go. Is there anything else that we should possibly be kind of switching around? That's called grandeur. That's good. Why can't we hang something on there? I don't know. Um, that is Renown. That's good. That's Renown. That's always good. That's plus more Knights. That's never a bad thing. That's Prestige and Renown. That is Knight Effectiveness up. Okay. Is there anything we can do about that? Court Grand bonus plus one. I mean, is there anything else we could put out there? I mean, look at that. Renown plus 0.12 per month. I think, yeah, Lovely isn't quite as fighty as other people. So Knight Effectiveness is going to come down but we are going to pick up some more Renown. 0.12 per month. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. And the sort of Dynasty Perk things are really good. Um, that is short range duration minus 12%. Now that would be very, very good to have on. However, I will forget about that entirely. I think I can muddle through the short range thing. Uh, lovely People House Banner, 0 0.08 Renown. Uh, that is Levy Reinforcement Ray. 
that is natural dread and that's already on display okay change that round then to the excellent tapestry that is quite fancy isn't it that's a bit that's a bit posh okay and we've got this thing here what's that piety 0.3 per month i mean we could have a sturdy goblet on there for some more renown i'm not really so bothered about the piety so okay we'll have a sturdy goblet um we will have that for the court grandeur bonus because that is quite the coup isn't it that's a very sort of uh very important item the skull of saint john the evangelist so another sturdy goblet on that side okay more press that's prestige based is there anything else we can have what does that armor do uh injury resistance from prowess plus three uh stress gain down dread gain up not so bothered that casket thing is piety uh oh magnificent ornamental coffret why don't we have that that's more renown okay yeah we'll have that and then I think over here we've got that wonderful sword thing, haven't we? Okay, that's fine. I think that's about all we can do. What's that? Masterwork. Ah, hang on. Yes, over here we've got the Dalaxian statue. Uh, yeah, we'll have that. We'll have that, please. And already out is the magnificent table. Of course it is. So we're picking up quite a bit of extra renown just from rejigging our artifacts over here. It's a shame we can't have more of them, but never mind. Apparently we've got seven new ones. Have we? Have we actually? And there's one unhandled thing. Do you know what? Whilst we're here, let's go and do it. Our Sultan truly is generous gravy. Just tasty, spectacular, fresh quail. Her beaver exclaims lyrically. So that's our wife and our friend now. Yes, indeed. Lord Lovely is most benevolent. Much like this strawberry compote. Gravy responds enthusiastically. Okay, so they're just eating quail and strawberries. It seems if my spending on lavish meals has made a new friendship blossom. Okay, mind if I join you for some fresh quail? Okay, so they gain opinion of us, we lose stress, and... Oh, they've already become friends. Oh, okay, that's fine. Servants, can't you see they're starving? Bring more saffron cakes. So we spend quite a bit of money. We gain grandeur. We gain renown. They gain opinion of us, and they're already friends. Or it would be rude to disturb them while eating, but we're gregarious. We want to go and join in. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. How are we looking again? Gregarious, ambitious, and generous generous i think we have to kind of play as a generous person now um there's a slight level of irony there servants can't you see they are starving i mean you definitely can't sultan lovely that's not something you can see at all you can pick up on the fact they are starving um yeah give them more saffron cakes absolutely that's what we would do 150 money treat them to some lovely things because we're nice like that we're kind and gregarious and all that kind of stuff okay Right, and now here's something that we're going to do as well. This is very exciting. We might as well do it now because it's going to benefit us very much from when we do it. So, um, yeah, here we go. We can strengthen the bloodline of the lovely people because we're playing as Sultan Lovely. And Sultan Lovely has the three fancy traits. He's got one of the, what do they call them? One of the physical specimen traits. He's got hail. He's got one of the bright minds traits of genius. And he's got one of the beautiful characters traits in Cumley. So he's got all three of those. And as we can see down here, he's got those. And he's got at least one of the top tier ones. He's got genius. He's got no bad congenital traits. That means we can strengthen the bloodline of the lovely people. That means we get a small health boost to everybody. Chance of inheriting good congenital traits up by 40%. Chance of new good congenital traits just appearing out of nowhere, plus 400%. That's not wrong. It's not an incorrect thing. It's not plus 40%. They slapped an extra zero on there. It's 400%. So new children born to the dynasty have got a 400% chance of getting new good traits. So they've got such a massive chance of getting these things from now on when we press this. This is wonderful. I like this. Okay, here we go. Lovely. This is what we've been waiting for for quite a long time. We've had you you in our sights for, for many, many years. Now is the time for you to strengthen the bloodline of the lovely people. And there we go. It's done. It's all very inspiring. Oh, the music's wonderful. For generations, our dynasty has been known for the strength of its blood, vigour, beauty and intellect are all attributes associated with the lovely people name you're not wrong my own excellence only confirms this all of our dynasty's best qualities in one perfect individual i won't go quite so far as that my name and my gifts will live on through my descendants for centuries to come we have a bright 
future ahead. Oh, we've picked up a nickname. We are now the Blood Father. Ooh, that's fancy. Have we ever had that before? I'm fairly sure that we have. We've done that before. We've strengthened the bloodline, but I can't remember if we got the Blood Father fancy nickname. Oh, that's very good. Okay, yep, that's exciting. I like that. There we go. Bloodline strengthened and the lovely people. They're lovely. They've changed colour. What's good? Why have we changed colour? I'm very confused. What? Is, hang on. Your primary title isn't the Sultanate of Delax. I want that to be your primary. Ah, make primary. There we go. Primary title is now lovely people. Oh, phew. There we go. We're back to our proper colour scheme. Thank goodness for that. That's very good to see. Hang on. Hang on. What's going on down here? Hello. Would you like to join us, by the way? It'd be good if you could offer vassalage. He's at war. Okay, that's unfortunate. Are you at war? Um, no, you don't want to join us. Oh, because you're Coptic. You're definitely not joining us. Okay. Right, hang on. I've completely forgotten about the fight over here. Time's been running on and these people have been stood there for ages. Okay, hang on. We need to get a general in. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Hang on a minute. Let's go over and have a bit of a fight. We've just been having a massive feast over at the thing and these lot have been stood there going, come on then, are we fighting or what? Let's sort this out. Let's grab this tiny island, shall we? We'll add that on. So, um, yeah, this is our first kind of big fight as lovely. Just completing his dad's work. That's nice and straightforward. The big shooty guns are doing a grand job. 3,000 people are going to come in, but they're going to have the, um, the thing, Bob, the disembarkation penalty. So we're going to tear them apart. Um, hello there, Prince Party has turned up, absolutely in you come, and you don't do anything silly, you pay homage to us, we get loads of lovely stuff, wonderful. Right, in you come then, if you're going to come and have a fight with us, we shall rip you to bits. That was a little bit one-sided, wasn't it? There we go, some more people coming in. <laughs> I would advise not, we're pretty good at doing the fight, oh, just you just boated over some land, okay, well done you, very, very clever. Right, how are we doing? 17 days. Okay, this is going to... Let's just move time on a bit quicker, shall we? This can tick down. And there we go. Plus 100%. We've got her only bit of land. I mean, we could... We could, if we wanted to, uh, press the right button. We could ransom some of these people out for a bit of money. Because as soon as you take that land away, I believe she's going to be unlanded. She's got nothing else. I know she's got... Yeah, she's got the Emirate title and then the Sheikdom title of that little island. So if we just, like, as soon as we you know, claim victory, she's going to be unlanded anyway. So we might as well try and get some money out of her. So our 25 gold for you. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Right, hang on. Are these all your kids? Crikey. Okay. Right, so they're all your children. Oh, I kind of feel like we possibly shouldn't be ransomed because we're nice. <laughs> we're nice. We're generous and gregarious. And we're, oh, no, we're ambitious. I suppose we're ambitious. We'd want to get the best. We're not compassionate. So we're not looking going, oh, there's children there. We kind of we'd acknowledge that there's children in the thing, but we'd make sure they're okay. Um okay, hang on, what about you down here? So you you can convert over and we'll get a hook on you, and you can convert over and we'll try and get a hook on you. Yeah, okay, right. So you two can just clear off and then we'll get some money for the kids. Here we go. So let's get some ransom money out of here. There we go, go bye. There we go, so 25 money. Right, we'll get some money from you. 64 money. Can't afford the full ransom. Um, okay, we'll get 64 money from you then. That's absolutely fine. There we go. And I imagine we're going to get nothing from you because she hasn't got any money left. Um, do you know what? Shall we just let you out? You get, please convert. There you go. We'll get a hook on you as well for whatever reason. There we go. That's all. Hang on, we stand the troops down. We have, I know we haven't finished the fight yet, have we? So as soon as that kid goes... Um, are they out of the prison? Are they done? Are they just kind of hanging around in the prison? There we go. Right, so uh, that person leaves the prison. I want to stand the troops down. I want to finish the fight. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Siltanesi, the daughter of Valise Han of Oystert, has given birth to a son. Okay, who are you, though? So you're our... Ah, you're chocolate. Okay, you're our brother. So this is our brother's child. So this is our nephew. Okay. Intelligent and comely, very good. Um, do you know what? Faddle does seem like a good name. I know it's not a name from our big list, but given Faddle has passed away, maybe that would be a good tribute. That would be a very kind-hearted thing for Lovely to do. So, yeah, 
Absolutely, we shall have another faddle. Faddle the third or fifth or whatever it is. I'm not sure. Right, hang on a minute. Then enforce those demands. Right, wonderful. The war is over. Stand down. Right, what does that form part of? That's its own little kind of... Its own little emirate. It's a teeny tiny emirate all on its own. Okay, let's give away our first bit of land then, shall we? Because we don't want this. So, um, yeah. Oh, no. She's still got it. Uh, oh. Okay. I thought she wouldn't have it. Okay, would you like to convert, please? Can you please convert over? 20%? Maybe she needs to like us more. Maybe she needs to like us more, and then we could possibly try to get her to convert. I thought claiming the de Jure lands would give it over to us, but clearly that's not how it works. Oh, and now we've got a pesky Coptic in the ranks. Okay, right, hang on a second. Let's go to her. Hello there. Can we please sway you? Because we'd like you to become you know, a member of the proper religion. We'd like you to follow the proper true faith and not that terrible one that you follow. Oh, this is a bit of a bother, isn't it? We've got no court positions appointed at all. I think what happened was we would have had court positions with our original title. So our original primary title, which was that kind of red kind of flag thing. I can't recall what that was. Hang on. What was that again? It was that one there. So, yeah, our primary title was the Sultanate of Yemen. But then when we switched it back over to be the proper primary title of the lovely people Sultanate, you know, the best primary title, the only good title that we ever really won, I think that reset everything. Because now we've got no court people. And, of course, loads of guests did arrive at our court. So I imagine what happened was they kind of went from the court of Yemen over here somewhere, wherever we had stuff over there, back over to the capital here. So... That's a bit of a shame. Right, so now we've got nobody at all. We're going to have to go and do some recruitment. Oh, dear. Okay. Right, we haven't got anybody that can be a court doctor. Who would like to be the chief quadi or quaddy, whatever it is, to give us learning per level of devotion? Um, How about you? You can do that. I know you're... Why, hang on a minute. Why are these people... Oh, they'd be quite good. You're a haji. You've got learning of 34. We've got some terrible people on board. Oh, my word. The aptitude of everybody is rubbish. Um, hang on. Hang on. How many people have we got in court? Oh, we've not got many people. Ah, we haven't got very many people in court because we've faffed about with the titles. Okay. Do we have to go and invite everybody to court? <laughs> is that what we need to do? So all our siblings. So, for example, Chocolate, you've not got a thing. Have you? You've not got land. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're at our court. Okay, that's good. Um, joyful. You're unlanded in Delac. Invite you to court. Bring all these people in because they might be quite good. Oh, this is very unfortunate. Okay, invite to court. Just bring all the people in. <laughs> Please, everybody turn up at our court. It's all gone a bit wibbly wobbly, but we can all get it sorted now. Um, uh, recruit to court. Okay, I bet, you know, I bet marmalade's actually quite good. I bet mar yeah, marmalade's a bit sneaky. Do you know what? You're visiting our court. Do you know what? Can we recruit you to court? Can we just get you in? Um, 75 money. Do you know yeah, why not? Come over. That's fine. Right, so are all those people going to join? Oh, we lost so many people. We lost so many people faffing about with those court things. Right, people have arrived. This is good news. Right, people have come over. How are we going to do that with everybody else? How are we going to do that? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, is, is mum here? Yeah, she's at our court. Okay, but then it's extended family that have kind of cleared off and the court's looking a little bit bereft. Oh dear. Um, okay, I mean, can we get any of these positions in? Ah, there we go. We have an excellent court tutor. At least we've got one of those in. Yay, we've got one person employed. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, okay, who else do we want? Seneschal, they're important. Um, okay, jump, mum, you can do that. You can do that. There you go, mother. You're good at that. Um, antiquarians are just all average. Try and find somebody else. Food taster. Our sister can do that. There you go, sister of ours. You can be the food taster. Uh, Master of the hunt. We want one of those. Oh, we've got a few good people for this. Uh, we've got Sammy. We've got Irir. Let's go for Irir, shall we? Let's go for you. And then maybe Sammy could be like the master of the horse or something. There we go. We'll kind of split it between you two. There you go. Um, we do need... Oh, no, we don't need a royal architect. Because they're quite expensive. We don't build that much stuff. High almond, yeah, we do need. Um, oh, okay, our mum can do that as well. There you go, mum. you got a few jobs. Got some jobs. Cup bearer. 
Um, our brother-in-law, excellent at holding cups. Very good. Lovely cup handling skills. Um, Jester, where's, where's Smile? Oh, where's Smile? We've lost all our people. <laughs> this is so terrible. Oh, this is awful. Court musician. Nope, nobody's good. That bodyguard. Average. Oh, dear. Okay, right. So we have a little bit of work to do over there to get some people in. I mean, yeah, what have we got? Physician, Quaddy, Antiquaria need one of those. That's half decent. Um, and Jester. And possibly musician as well. I think we were the musician, weren't we? In our own, in Dad's court. We can't do that now. Um, okay. I mean, firstly, I'm going to go and look for Smile. Let's try and get Smile back into the court as the Jester, because Smile was quite good. Okay, there is Smile, still wearing the Jester hat, although he's now a Chancellor. Would you like to come over to us? Um, yes, you would. Okay, you can lose your Chancellor job, but that's okay. Oh, we get on really well. Gregarious and generous. We'd be really good. Okay, let's get time ticking on a bit, just to bring Smile over. Okay, so there you go, Smile. And would you like your old job back? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Can you please do some falling over? That would be lovely. There we go. You're good at that job. Right, at least that's one person in. And then I think just before we wrap things up today, I think, I mean, some of these are important, but I think the doctor is obviously very, very important indeed. So let's find somebody over here who isn't, um, who isn't married. Uh, Sunra, you're married. Uh, Jolly, are you married? Uh, no, you're a guest you're our cousin. Okay. Can we recruit you? 110 money. That's incredibly expensive. All these people are our guests, look, but they're all related to us. Please just join us. You're really good, actually. Yeah, recruit you and we'll recruit you as well because you're good. 190 money. Oh, okay. Do you know what? Yes, we'll get you in. We'll get you in, even though it's very expensive. Um, And then, yeah, can we sort out you're at our court. Can we now find a spouse for you? Somebody who's good at doing medical stuff? Because that'd be really handy if we could find somebody that can be a good doctor for us. Okay, so we've got quite a few people that are just physicians. There's no renowned physicians, unfortunately, available. But yeah, we've got quite a lot of physicians. I'm thinking maybe we go for this chappy at the top because he's compassionate. And that's got to be a good thing to have if you're a doctor. I mean, okay, he's also diligent, which is good. And he's wrathful. He's a wrathful, compassionate person who's also very diligent, but I think he could be quite good. I mean, this chappy here would also be quite good because he's compassionate and trusting, but also he's zealous and he's of the wrong religion and he doesn't really like us very much. So I think let's get you in, shall we? Court Imam Consor of Bonduku. Let's get you in. Oh, look at that. Inheritable traits. That's looking very good. So we're going to sort this out. So yes, please. There you go, Jolly. You've got somebody to marry who's a really good doctory person. You've got some good traits going on as well. Can we just sort that out? Right, there we go. He is in. And then can we please go down here to the court physician and get you in as average? Okay. Our cousin is average at doing doctoring. Um. Oh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? We'll get you in anyway, because that's what we got you here for. Okay, right. So he likes a bit more. And there we go. I think with that done... We will finish things up for now. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hang on a minute. You absolutely promised definitely that you were going to go and have a war with the Fatimids. But of course, we lost we lost Faddle. So we haven't got the ability to go and do a kingdom level holy war anymore or a kingdom level invasion because all our stats kind of tumbled. We're not famous enough and we're not devoted enough to do that kind of thing. So it'd be like a really little, we'd have to go for like a little bit. Maybe we go down the middle or something. So I know we say we'd have a fight with them, but circumstances changed a little bit. Things went a little bit wibbly and wobbly and we lost Faddle the second. So maybe next time we'll come back and just, I don't know, maybe take that middle duchy away from them or Emra, and then we can you know, sort of whittle their land away from them as time goes by. But it's going to be a while, I think, until we can do proper big wars again, which is a shame. Although I know we have grabbed that bit of land just there, which is quite nice. Any more down here? No. But we still have that bit, which is lovely. So yes, I think we'll wrap things up for now. We've done quite a lot of stuff with with yeah, the new Sultan of the lovely people. Sultan Lovely himself. I think yeah, he's had quite a good intro. He's not struggled too much with getting people on his side. I think in terms of vassals, they're all seemingly relatively happy with him. I mean, yeah, Al not overly happy. Al's a little bit grumpy about that. But I think overall, 
they're pretty content with him so far. And of course, that's going to get better as that short rain penalty comes down as time ticks by. So I think, you know, give it, give it a few years. They'll be absolutely fine with him. And Lovely's going to be pretty good. And we're not going to have problems with factions and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think we'll finish up for now. Come back next time and just see what we can do. Get these lands down here. Go and have a fight with the Fatimids. But really, we actually really will unless we die again. And then we have to go and be somebody else. And then I don't know what we'll do after that. I'm not entirely sure. I have got an idea of something that I'd like to do, but we'll see if we can do that next time out. Oh, intriguing indeed. But yes, I think we'll see what we can do when we come back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Crusader Kings 3. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're this is not your day, is it? Sean Bazzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.